Hello, my name is Dr. Sean Liu. And I'm Dr. Katie Davenport. We are emergency medicine doctors with the American College of Emergency Physicians who would like to talk to you about falling and ways to prevent future falls. Have you fallen? Do you have a neighbor, friend, or loved one who has fallen? The answer to one or both of these questions is likely yes, because falls are so common. In fact, one in three people older than 65 falls, and half of people older than 80 fall each year. You are probably feeling a lot of emotions right now. You may feel frustrated or upset that you have fallen. You may be worried that you have an injury because of the fall. During your visit, we will check you for injuries. We also want to use this time to talk about the steps you can take to avoid falls. We hope this video will help prevent you from falling again in the future. Falls can be serious. In this video, we want to share with you and your family the seven step fall challenge. It is designed to help you stand up and fight falls. By following these steps, you will decrease your risk of falling again. Step one, strength and balance. Falls are complex and occur in older people for a variety of reasons such as changes that occur with aging, such as changes in your balance that make tripping easier. From side effects of your medication or from a medical condition or prior injury that you have. These examples along with environmental factors and dehydration can all put you at increased risk of falling. To decrease these factors, you can focus on improving your strength and balance by exercising regularly. Tai Chi, yoga, and other strength and balance training decrease your risk of falls by improving your flexibility and endurance. Plus, it can be fun. Take your partner, a group of your friends or neighbors, and join a gym or sign up for a class. You can stand up and fight falls together. Talk to your doctor if you feel off balance or unsteady. You may benefit from seeing a physical therapist or occupational therapist who can assess your strength and prescribe you certain exercises. Have you been meaning to fix that old railing in your basement for years or get rid of those boxes lining your front hall? Now is the time. Step two, home safety. One of the best ways to prevent falls is to improve your home safety. You can do this by clearing out unnecessary items. You can ask a family member or friend for help or even hire someone. First, remove hazards. This means keeping walkways clear and arranging furniture to provide a wide pathway between rooms. Make sure that loose carpets, throw rugs, and cords are taped down or removed from your home to avoid tripping. Do not stand on chairs or stools to reach for items. Second, add safety devices. Install safety rails in the bathtubs and place non-skid mats in the bathtub and on the bathroom floor. Third, improve lighting. Add night lights to the hallways, bedrooms, and bathrooms. Lastly, observe stair safety. Install railings on both sides of the stairs and use them when going up or down to avoid falling. Step three, medication. Many medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, can make you feel lightheaded, dizzy, or sleepy. These medications will increase your risk of falling. As we age, these side effects become more common and can be more severe. The medications that most often cause these side effects are anti-anxiety medications, antidepressants, allergy medications, prescription pain medications, and sleep aids. Figuring out how to manage these side effects can be difficult. Make sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist about the side effects of your current medications and any side effects of new medications you are prescribed or take over the counter. Speak with your doctor immediately if medications you are taking make you feel lightheaded, sleepy, weak, or dizzy. Step four, vision. We know that life is busy. As we age, we have more and more activities and appointments to remember. But we strongly encourage you to always attend your yearly eye exam. As we age, our vision changes. Most often, it becomes more difficult to see things close up. This can increase your risk of falling. Make sure to get your eyes checked every year. It will be much harder to stand up and fight falls without your vision. As we age, our sense of thirst changes. Because of that, we often don't drink as much water as we need. Step five, dehydration. Unless your doctor has told you to limit the fluids you drink, try to drink six to eight glasses of water a day. If you don't like the taste, you can always flavor it. Supporter footwear is very important in preventing falls. Step six, feet and footwear. Poor fitting shoes, clogs, flip-flops, and heels will all increase your risk of falling. 
Always wear supportive and comfortable sneakers while you are walking. Avoid doing other tasks while walking and keep your eyes out for uneven pavement or other obstacles in your path. Talk to your doctor about seeing a podiatrist or foot doctor, especially if you have decreased feeling in your feet from diabetes or other medical conditions. Step seven, what to do if you fall. If you start to fall, try to relax your body to reduce the impact of the fall. Tuck your chin to protect your head and roll as you land to spread out the force of the fall. Stay calm and do not try to get up too quickly. Always keep a mobile or cordless phone with emergency numbers within reach. Phones should be kept in all rooms of your home or in your pocket. If you know you are unsteady or if you have fallen before, you should talk to your doctor about getting a fall alert system. This is a bracelet or necklace that you will wear that will alert your local emergency medical service if you fall. Your doctor can recommend the best device for you. Falls are the leading cause of death-related injury in patients older than 65. Over 10% of falls result in serious injuries that will impact an individual's quality of life. With the information we discussed, you can reduce your risk of falling. Please share this information with your family and friends so that everyone knows the dangers of falling and how with these seven steps they can stand up and fight falls together.